so now dear student we are going to discuss question number 6.6 clear and in this question it is given to you a circular coil of radius 8 cm and number of turns that is 20 is rotated about its vertical diameter with an angular speed of 50 radian per second in a uniform horizontal magnetic field of magnitude 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 tesla so let us try to understand given situation now it is given here we have a circular coil so let's suppose this is circular coil clear this is given to you circular coil it is having radius 8 centimeter so i can say value of r we have this is 8 centimeter clear and number of turns number of turns this is given to you this is 20 clear so uh, radius is given number of turns is given it is rotated about its vertical diameter vertical diameter means we can say this is the diameter so this is diameter and this is axis along diameter clear and it is rotated about this diameter and angular velocity this is also given to you angular speed omega 50 radian per second fine and in a uniform magnetic field so let's suppose i'm assuming here uniform magnetic field this is exerted in perpendicular inward direction clear so this is uniform magnetic field and value of b this is given to you 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 tesla clear and now we have to find here obtain the maximum and average emf induced in the coil now you know very well if we are talking about induced emf clear so induced emf will be generated whenever there is some change in a magnetic flux is to be taking place clear but now we also know how can magnetic flux change it? magnetic flux it may change due to change in uh, due, due to change in magnetic field due to change in area and due to change in orientation so in this case you can see magnetic field is a constant radius is also constant it means the orientation of or we can say angle between area vector and magnetic field is changing clear yeah? so we can say here we are having some change in a magnetic flux so whenever we have a change in magnetic flux we can say there is an induced emf clear so we can write like this e this is given by a naught i can say this is sine of omega t clear e equal to a naught sine of omega t clear now we can say uh, value of uh, our objective is what our objective here is to obtain maximum and average value of emf clear so i can say this value e naught E0 means we can say this is maximum value of induced EMF and this is given by band omega. Clear? So when you derive this expression, you can find E equal to E0. E0 in the place of E0, you can say this is band omega. I can say this is sine of omega t. Clear? Now we can place here all the values. So value of B. Value of B is given 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. Clear? What about area? area is given it means radius given so i can say this is pi r square pi 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square multiply what about number of turns number of turns is given this is 20 and multiply it with omega omega is given yes this is 50 radian per second clear 50 radian per second so from here we can say 50 multiply 20 this is 1000 10 to the power 3 so 3 into I can say 10, only 10 because 10 to the power 3 at minus 2 becomes only 10 clear multiply pi into I can say this is 8 multiply 8 multiply uh, 10 to the power minus 4 clear 10 to the power minus 4 clear to everyone here we have 1000 1000 multiply this one 10 to the power minus 1 clear yes or no this is 1000 1000 multiply this one 10 it means only 10 clear this is 3 this one is pi 8 multiply 8 10 to the power minus 4 clear so from here you can see this is 30 pi multiply 64 multiply 10 to the power minus 4 clear so you can multiply here uh, 30 with 64 so we are getting here this is a uh, we can say 12 we have 1 192 pi multiply 10 to the power minus 3 volt clear now you can multiply 192 with 3.14 clear so directly you can see 192 3.14 clear so can you multiply it yes so approximately let's suppose we are multiplying with 3 clear so i can see here exactly value you will also calculate this is 8 uh, we have uh, 36 we have 3 so 7 
2, 9, 1, multiply, multiply, I can say this is 6, clear, 9, 3, 27, so this is 7, we have to this one, clear, so if you add it, you will find this value, clear, so from here you are calculating value of E0, means maximum value of induced EMF, this is given by, I can say 8, we can say this one is 8, clear, 9, 6, uh, 9 or 7, 16 or 6, 22, clear, we can say this is 2, so 2 or 1, I can say that is 3, 3 or 7, that is 10 and this one, clear, from here you can say you are uh, getting here decimal after 1, 4, so this one, clear, and here we are having 10 to the power minus 3, clear, so from here we can write like this, this is given by 0 0.602 volt, clear, so this is maximum value of induced EMF, clear, so one objective is clear, clear to everyone, yes. <clears throat> Now our second objective in this question here is to find average EMF, clear? Now you can say actually this EMF is varying according to E equal to E naught sine of omega t, clear? So we can say this EMF is varying according sinusoidally, clear? And average value of sine in a complete cycle is zero. So I can say average value that we will find here in, uh, in terms of induced EMF that is zero, clear? So peak value is given by 0 0.602 volt and Average value, this is equal to 0. Clear to everyone? So, yes. <clears throat> now, yes. Now we are going to discuss the rest of part of this question. Clear? Concentrate here. This value will be useful for us, that is 0 0.602 volt. Clear? Yes. I think you are getting my all points clear. I am trying to clarify your, uh, I am trying to give you all the concept that is related to this question clear. Now listen carefully. So from here you can see, uh, if I talk about next part, if the coil forms a closed loop, okay, and resistance is given to you 10 ohm. So value of R that is equal to 10 ohm, it is given. Now we have to calculate here, calculate the maximum value of current in a coil, clear? So maximum value of current, I can say this is given by E0 by R, clear? Value of E0 we know, this is 0 0.602 divided by, I can say that is 10, clear? So from here we can write like this, 0 0.0602 and this is ampere, clear? So this is maximum value of current, clear? Now we have to calculate here average power loss due to joule heating. Clear? So, I can say average power heating. Clear? Average power heating equal to what? Uh, I can say this is given by I RMS square multiplied with R. Clear? Or, or if it is given here, average power loss we have to find. Clear? So, for that I will write here this is I RMS. Clear? I RMS. I RMS we can say this is equal to what? I naught by root 2. I naught. So, we can write like this. I naught square divided by 2 multiplied with R. Clear? 1 by 2 clear i not square so we can see this is 0 0.06 multiply 0 0.06 multiply clear and value of r that is equal to 10 clear so now you can see here we can say this is 0 0.03 clear multiply this is 0 0.6 clear so from here we can write like this value of average power value of average power this is given by uh, we can say 18 divided by Clear? 18 divided by, we can say 1000. Clear? So, uh, we can say this is equal to 18, uh, directly you can say 18, this is 1, uh, and 18 divided by 1000 watt. Clear? So, this is average power. And now you can say from where this uh, power actually you are getting. Actually, this coil is rotated by some mechanical means. Clear? Mechanical means, means we can say here we are, let's suppose here we have a motor, clear, and this motor is actually rotating this coil, clear. So we can say from external source we are getting that energy, clear, and that energy is actually dissipated in the form of heat, clear to everyone. So our objective is what to calculate power loss due to uh, joule heating. So power loss means uh, our objective here is to calculate this is power, clear, but can we find here a uh, that is power loss, yes, that is I square R, clear, so this is all about this question, clear.